Hey, congratulations on coming to the Get Reading website, which means you know what you've got to do, get reading. Anyway, here's the story behind the story. You are being tracked now. When you purchase something, you put it on a card. Uh, the credit card company has this purchase history that they can analyze and figure out what you tend to buy and what that says about you as a person. You take a ride on a train, you swipe a card, they know where you go and uh, can analyze that to figure out the, the sort of life that you're living. You have a Facebook profile probably, uh, maybe a Twitter account. Uh, all of this information about you that was hidden um, very recently is now out there in ways that it never was before. And uh, I think we have a general unease about this without really having any specific concern. Like, like mostly it seems okay that, that these sorts of things have been tracked about us. And yet um, I, I feel like there's something wrong with that without being able to put my finger on it. Now the connection that I made was to this uh, very old idea that uh, there is power in true names. Uh, we see this popping up in all kinds of stories, from Homer's Odyssey through to um, beliefs in um, medieval Europe. Uh, Rumpelstiltskin is a great story uh, where once you discover the true name of a person, you are able to compel them. A sorcerer in particular can compel you. Uh, and that is why people would, would never reveal their names to strangers and, and avert their eyes even. So uh, my thought was that uh, today, the new sorcerers are these organizations who are collecting data, who can segment us into personality types and then use what they know about us to compel us, to persuade us in, in sophisticated ways. So, so this was the idea, but, but an idea like that doesn't really go anywhere unless there are people to, to carry the story along. And uh, the, the person that really made the story work for me was his character of, of Emily, who enters this organization of persuaders and learns that you must guard your true personality lest you be compelled, lest people discover things about you that allow you to be um, coerced. Uh, but, but the price you pay for that is never revealing who you are to another person. And so that's the real dilemma, that uh, the reason we do share all this information about ourselves, um, at some level it's because we want to be discovered. We want to connect with other people and, and that's what makes us human. So there is, um, there is a really interesting dynamic between trying to hide who you are and also trying to, to connect with other people and, and one person in particular. Like that's what love is all about. You cannot love unless you share yourself and, and, and the other person allows you to, to share uh, in who they are. So, so Lexicon was um, a, a whole bunch of ideas that I, I moved around in different ways until I finally found the people who could actually take them uh, and, and carry them through on a journey.